Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg formed an unexpected on-screen friendship bridging different corners of the entertainment world. Sure, they're both wealthy personalities, but that's about where similarities, only appear, to end. Chanel West Coast definitely knows where the beef is. At first glance, the odd pair feels like a media farce. The authentic admiration between the 79-year-old lifestyle mogul and the 48-year-old West Coast rapper perhaps best known for, Gin and Juice, and his affinity for weed reveals something deeper. Snoop first built this career with producer-rapper Dr. Dre on the iconic album, The Chronic, in 1992. Best known as a denizen of the Rob Deerdeck universe, she is a regular on the smart Alex skateboarding provocateurs MTV programs Fantasy Factory and Ridiculousness. Chanel also raps, acts, models, laughs, and designs clothing emblazoned with fetishistic weed imagery that could have just walked out of the 1990s. Snoop launched into stardom with his breakout album, Da Dogfather. He continued to adapt from gangsta rap to hip-hop and made reggae and gospel albums. A true Gen Y polymath, Chanel West Coast, real name, Chelsea Chanel Dudley, is also quite adept at mouthing off and clapping back, with a laundry list of celebrity beefs to prove it. Chanel has ticked off a silver screen icon. Snoop's personality carved out a long-lasting impact thanks to his humor, vocabulary, and advocacy of marijuana well before legalization. Martha is also no stranger to reinvention. One of the celebrity chefs who started her culinary career late, Martha is self-taught from reading Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking. She's ticked off a radio personality. She's ticked off her co-stars. She turned a successful catering business into multiple best-selling books, a media company, a television show, and namesake products. She's also a sure thing for TMZ film crews looking for outrageous footage. But while celebrity feuds are nothing new, and these days are often just the way business gets done, Chanel has lately diversified her gripe portfolio. She turned full gangster when accusations of insider trading turned into a five-month prison sentence in 2004. From local law enforcement to her own Instagram followers, the scope of Chanel's wrath has cut a wide swath. She was soon released and returned to her career. So, how did these two powerhouses become peak zeitgeist? Turns out the pair might have met in the kitchen, where else? But like their careers, it took time and some elbow grease for their friendship to blossom. Martha and Snoop Dogg's friendship started while making a bowl of mashed potatoes in 2008 the two first united on daytime television over a creamy bowl of mashed potatoes. According to the Martha Stewart Living website, Martha first invited Snoop onto the Martha Stewart show back in 2008. Beef, for Miz in true cooking show fashion, Martha and Snoop went through the motions of making one of Stewart's signature recipes. West Coast, it's what's for dinner, breakfast, lunch, brunch, snacks, and happy hour. Snoop flavored in a few vocabulary words that Martha had yet to learn. Here's a timeline. After Sharon Stoned, Chanel West Coast got Sharon sued when you write and perform a song called, Sharon Stoned, you're saying the loud part loud. Martha kept the duo on task while playing the straight man to Snoop's sly humor. At face value, it still isn't clear why the duo's chemistry worked, but the seeds were sown for a shrewd businesswoman who is no stranger to the camera. What an odd couple we were, Martha said as a guest on NBC's Today Show. Snoop explained that the lifestyle tycoon's choice to bring on rappers broke ground with new faces on daytime television. Martha kind of, like, pioneered this, Snoop told NBC. As far as letting rappers become a part of daytime television because we weren't accepted. Martha joked members of the hip-hop community were too odd to be an obvious choice. Instead, Martha's brand of being the welcoming domestic denizen turned out to be more than just an on-screen act. Snoop Dogg returned to Martha Stewart's show to make brownies in 2009. The two returned to the kitchen to see if Snoop could once again butter up the host of the Martha Stewart show. Thus it wasn't a surprise when the actual Sharon Stone took legal issue with Chanel West Coast's rap single. In November 2019, Stone sued Chanel. Producers brilliantly capitalized on Snoop's famous personal interests by featuring a stoner's favorite dessert during the cooking session. The suit alleged that the TV personality and rapper was trying to trade on the fame and publicity rights of Sharon Stone for her commercial gain, as Rolling Stone reported. 
noting that Chanel's new track featured the name Sharon Stone 33 times and Sharon 99 times. The suit further claimed that it had effectively transformed the Basic Instinct star into a spokesperson for Shine Rolling Papers, since Chanel featured the product in her video for Stoned. Ms. West Coast didn't take these allegations sitting down. The beauty is seeing Stewart hold her own with the quips as she instructed the rapper and the audience about making the chocolate dessert. Each held their own by staying on brand, with Martha's straight man retorts and Snoop's humor, creating unexpected banter and true TV magic. During his second appearance on the daytime talk show, Oprah magazine reported Snoop couldn't help but make several allusions to the disproportionate size of the ounces of chocolate she measures out, perhaps not the ounces he's used to seeing, and making green-colored brownies. In the perfect setup, Stewart asked the hip-hop artist to set the oven to 350 degrees for the baked goods. In response, Snoop joked, why not bake them at 420 degrees? The audience, of course, broke out in laughter, and Stewart didn't break character. Snoop Dogg started making online shoutouts to Martha Stewart as his inspiration Snoop started to confirm his relationship with Martha might be more than some screen banter thanks to his frequent shoutouts to the fellow icon. Vulture found that as early as 2010, Snoop made references to their budding friendship by seeking advice from the famous entertainer who doesn't shy away from a challenging meal. Snoop called on Martha while asking for her help throwing Prince William a bachelor party in 2010. The tweet said, Hi, Sunshine, need some goodies for Prince William's bachelor party. He asked her to bring the snacks. Stewart never responded publicly, but the jest is still endearing. Instead, the rapper fired back by claiming Stone had been a collaborator. It's no surprise the hip-hop star would turn to her for party tips. Sharon pulled out of participating in the music video the day of the shoot after months of conversations, in-person meetings with myself and the director, two dance rehearsals and even had her own ideas which she shared with myself and my team for the collaborative on the video, Rolling Stone quoted Chanel as saying. Whether Stone and Chanel really worked up some weed-laced choreography before drifting apart we'll never know, because in May 2020 NBC Los Angeles reported that the suit had been settled out of court, to the mutual satisfaction of the parties. Starships and accusations fly for Chanel West Coast The genesis of Chanel West Coast's beef with Nicki Minaj stems from the ridiculousness co-host's misadventures as a signee to Lil Wayne's Young Money imprint. In a September 2019 post titled, Chanel West Coast Shades Nicki Minaj Hard for Young Money Management Snafu, Hot New Hip Hop reported that Chanel didn't have anything nice to say about Minaj in an appearance on the No Jumper Hip Hop podcast. Martha, after all, doesn't just host like the rest of us. She once told Harper's Bazaar that dinner guests at her home might enjoy homemade fettuccine with porcini mushrooms, soft shell crabs, spinach from the garden, and lemon tarts with phrases de bois. She might just prepare hundreds of lobsters. I don't know if Nikki is jealous but I don't know if she supports other women that much. I was never vocal about that until Cardi B went hard and I was like f asterisk 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 it. If Cardi's gonna go hard and blast her, why shouldn't I blast what I've been through? With the beefs flying faster than a college food fight, it can be hard to keep up, but suffice it to say Nicki Minaj and Cardi B have history. While Chanel was briefly signed to Young Money, and even appeared on the 2014 label compilation Rise of an Empire alongside Nicki, disagreements over money and management soured the relationship. When in Maine, right? Snoop updated a screenshot from their brownie baking days on Twitter in 2013 to show more of the duo's off-screen vibes. Did Minaj sabotage Chanel's standing with the Young Mula crew? The truth is shrouded in beef. Drake, Kanye West, and... Then, in November 2014, Snoop cited Martha as the inspiration behind a limited-edition candle he sold with his family. Chanel West Coast? In 2017, Chanel West Coast joined the cast of the VH1's Love & Hip Hop, Hollywood for its fourth season. Martha's lifestyle brand seems to have started to rub off on the rapper. Martha Stewart gave Snoop Dogg a shout-out on Reddit in 2014 Martha got into the game with her own public shout-outs of the celebrity friendship. The cooking mogul hosted an Ask Me Anything thread on Reddit where fans could ask for cooking tips, crafting and organizing ideas, entertaining tricks, and healthy living. The question and answer platform had priceless moments, with Martha answering personal trivia about her larger-than-life habits. Why anyone would buy Louboutins to paint over the red soul is beyond comprehension. When asked who Martha thought would win a bake-off, her or Gordon Ramsay, she replied, I could probably bake better than Gordon Ramsay. Just saying, we're here for it, Martha. One user asked, what's it like being friends with Snoop Dogg? 
Getting straight to the point, Stewart replied, I wish I were closer friends with Snoop Dogg. When asked whether she or Snoop would make better cookies, she replied by saying she's, never tasted, his cookie recipes. Icing on the cake, she requested the rapper join the AMA halfway through, writing, where's Snoop? I have brownies for you. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg sat next to each other at the roast of Justin Bieber Martha and Snoop reunited for the roast of Justin Bieber on Comedy Central. The random smattering of celebrities on stage certainly made for some brutal jokes, with both Snoop and Martha getting their own sets. Showing she can turn the tables on herself, USA Today reported Martha even gave Bieber some prison tips that Bieber would, inevitably, need one day. As a guest on an episode of Late Night with Seth Meyers, Stewart caused an internet stir by claiming she received a contact high by sitting next to Snoop during the four-hour taping. I got high just sitting there, she said. Snoop had all those, you don't call them joints, you call them something else. Big fat ones. We had to sit on the stage for four hours, and the secondary smoke is just as powerful as regular smoke. She told Myers that Bieber asked the lifestyle celebrity to participate, and by the time she got up to the podium, I was totally high. Even though Martha might not typically partake in the ganja, it sounds like she doesn't hold judgment for her counterpart who doesn't bother with stage props. Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart appeared on $100,000 Pyramid on E.T. in the summer of 2016 Nikki Swift found the pair became close in the years that followed the Bieber roast, even appearing on an episode of ABC's $100,000 Pyramid reboot together in 2016. The reality show is infamous for perpetually floating a boatload of drama, and Chanel was more than ready to climb aboard. As Charlemagne de God recounted on his syndicated radio program The Breakfast Club, Chanel took a moment on love and hip-hop, Hollywood to say she, up there with Kanye and Drake and everyone else. The dragging commenced. As Bet lays out, the internet chatter echo chamber was very surprised to learn that the ridiculousness co-host was also an MC on par with two titans of the genre, and told her so using the hashtag LHHH hashtag. Never one to simply accept an accusation or an insult, Chanel fired back at her critics in a tweet. On the episode, Martha works with Snoop to name fancy household items. Listen to me when I say I did not say I was up there with Drake and Kanye, my words were edited. In a postscript, Chanel doubled down. So f asterisk 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 all you haters I'm bout to drop the most fire song ever tonight, she tweeted. As far as we know, said song of, fire, never actually dropped. Chanel West Coast brings love and hip-hop and hating Chanel West Coast didn't limit her drama on love and hip-hop, Hollywood to delusions of rap grandeur. Could this be any more in her wheelhouse? As always, Martha is cool as a cucumber with her prompts. In episode 12 of the fourth season, while hosting a party to mark the debut of her new single, Bay, CWC cozied up to castmate Solo Lucci who she referred to as her, sort of new bae. And well, this was grounds for beefs. You see, Chanel's sort of new bae was most recently the full-time bae of another love and hip-hop cast member, Alexis Skye. Wearing sunglasses and appearing to take the task very seriously, Snoop answers rapid fire. Her clue of, it was once the Turkish Empire, as a clue for a household ottoman is really brilliant. And when Skye showed up to crash Chanel's party, the resulting hubbub got loud. The two sweep by getting every answer correct. Who knew Snoop Dogg knew what a pillow sham is or could pull out the word, credenza. Granted, it gives a better idea of what his house could be like. Is this whole segment a setup? Quite possibly. Are these two seriously adorable and should do more game shows? Why? Yes they are, and yes they should. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg revealed their reality cooking show on VH1 in 2016 after once again demonstrating the two stars held on-screen chemistry, the on- and off-screen friends made their union official by the end of 2016. Entertainment Weekly reported the lifestyle maven and successful rapper would join forces for the cooking series Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. The innuendo-filled series brought the two together in their own tricked-out kitchen for friendly competitions with more celebrities by their sides. Sky didn't hold back in a confessional moment to the camera, calling Chanel, Little Miss Snowbunny, and accusing her of stealing Lucci. The potluck dinner party cooking show combines celebrity guests, funny chats, wacky games, and actual recipes. Architectural Digest went on the set containing split personalities with two kitchen setups to mirror the personalities of the hosts. 
Martha's white kitchen is gleaming compared to Snoop's flashy purple and glitter elements. Chanel, for her part, called Alexis a ho, and things devolved as these things usually do, at least on reality shows, when Chanel had Alexis escorted off the premises. Can't we all just get along? Not when the beefing is more like bae thing. Bod Baby was called out by Chanel West Coast being denied entry into a West Hollywood night spot is not the sort of thing Chanel West Coast takes lightly. Even the tools are tricked out with 24 karat gold measuring cups, salt shakers, and plenty of bling. She proved this in November 2017, to the delight of an on-site TMZ film crew, when she proceeded to publicly and vocally melt down in full view of the paparazzi, fellow patrons, and the security staff who turned her away. In a subsequent interview with the gossip site, which took place in a bathtub, Chanel waxed philosophical about the fickle nature of celebrity in the modern era, and offered a few feud-worthy examples. I think the only way to get attention is to act like a complete ignorant fool, she said. The kitchens are complete with fresh herbs ready for cooking and herbs of a different sort. It's the perfect setting for the two friends to show off their diverse strengths. Martha Stewart explained in 2016 that she supports cannabis and CBD thanks to her friendship with Snoop Dogg despite her co-host's affinity for the herb. Martha Stewart is adamant that she doesn't smoke or ingest marijuana. You know, we've got cash me outside girls and people like that who, you know, act like complete fools and they get fame for it. Referencing Danielle Brigoli with a passing dis wasn't going to fly with Bod Baby herself, and TMZ was happy to fan those flames. The Hollywood Reporter interviewed Stewart about her working relationship with Snoop and revealed the entertainer is more relaxed around the herb. Once she decided to do the show with a notorious pot smoker, she did vow never to enter Snoop's trailer. She reiterated she's not a prude and quite progressive when it comes to the practice. She did, however, experience the healing properties of cannabis complements of, you guessed it, Snoop. Beef is served. Blared the site's headline, and the cash me outside girl didn't mince words. She tried CBD ointment when she almost broke her toe when a large rock fell on it at her home in New York. The gin and juice rapper ran out to his car and delivered her a CBD infused ointment. CBD is the non psychoactive compound derived from hemp. You know what's crazy? I didn't know who that raggedy bee asterisk 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 was an hour ago. Chanel West Coast has a penchant for beefery, even if her targets don't always wish to engage. Charlemagne de God said Chanel is delusional. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of Chanel West Coast, Charlemagne de God told the listening audience of the Breakfast Club Morning Show in 2017. In a segment called Donkey of the Day, the syndicated radio host referenced the fallout from Chanel's public tirade outside Hollywood night spot Poppy, dismissed her career as an MC, I don't know who gassed you up and told you that you are a dope rapper, and generally brought the TV personality and infamous clapback enthusiast down a few notches. She claims the toe healed within two days. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg played a game of Never Have I Ever on Ellen. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg went on the Ellen show ready to play one of the host's celebrity games. I've told you over and over there's a thin line between confidence and delusion. Joined by Anna Kendrick, Martha and Snoop played a game of Never Have I Ever. Turns out, the two might have more in common than their on-screen personalities first reveal. In her usual relaxed demeanor, Stewart held up her I have paddle when the group was asked if they'd ever sexted. Chanel West Coast, you are delusional. Now, if you know anything about Ms. West Coast, this is where you'd expect her to unleash hell on Charlemagne. Instead, she displayed a rare moment of conciliation during an appearance on MTV's Total Request Live a few months later, everybody's entitled to their opinion, Chanel offered with a wry smile. But she couldn't help but offer the caveat of a schoolyard taunt, just because it's your opinion does not make it a fact. Chanel West Coast went after her followers in February 2020, Chanel West Coast offered a few choice quotes in a Snapchat post. Only Ellen DeGeneres claimed otherwise. When questioned if she really knew what sexting was, Stewart rolled her eyes and responded, I have used technology for a lot longer than you have, Ellen. When pushed for details, she delivered the perfect response of, none of your business, in her patented dry humor. Martha's never been in handcuffs, despite serving time in a low-security prison, but Snoop certainly has. Granted, so has Anna Kendrick. I am the most friendly mother of asterisk 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 ever. I just like people I like everybody, Complex quoted her as saying. True to her word, Martha's also never been stoned on a talk show. Snoop raised his paddle high, just like his answer. Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart reenacted a scene from, Ghost, 
for their second season of Potluck Dinner Party in an over-the-top promotion for the second season of their show, Martha and Snoop gave the people what they wanted with a steamy scene in the kitchen. Unless you give me a reason not to like you, I f asterisk 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 like you. And if I follow you, I'm a like your pictures, unless it's like a really ugly bad picture maybe I won't like it. Okay, so far so good, if a little salty. Chanel West Coast is a uniter, not a divider, unless of course your pictures are, really ugly bad. But then she continued. And the entire scope of social media was put on beef notice. The duo released a teaser featuring a spoof of the famous, pottery scene, from the movie Ghost. For the most part 1f asterisk 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 like everybody's shit, and nobody likes my shit. And I'm just like B asterisk 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 I'm F asterisk 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 famous on a million episodes of TV, and you got way less followers than me and I'm liking your S asterisk 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 and you don't ever want to like my S asterisk asterisk asterisk? Who the F asterisk 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 do you think you are? You think I'm desperate because I'm friendly and liking your shit. Ain't nobody F asterisk 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 desperate. I'm just being nice. Yowza. What a way to describe, being nice. And in answer to Chanel's protestations, the internet came alive with dragging comments. The Daily Dot has the highlight reel and screenshots. It's Chanel West Coast's party. In September 2020, Chanel West Coast turned her voracious appetite for feuding on local law enforcement when a party she threw at her home was shut down by the LAPD. Chanel West Coast berated the cops who dared interrupt her birthday party because it was packed to the gills in the middle of a pandemic, wrote TMZ in its report of the incident. In the 1990s classic, Demi Moore sits at a pottery wheel when a vintage jukebox turns on, Unchained Melody, by the Righteous Brothers. The gossip site went on to tally the party's guest list as in the hundreds, which if you've been aware at all of COVID-19 restrictions, is likely more people than you've seen together in months. Still. The gripes never end for Chanel, not even when a crippling virus shuts down the world. TMZ went on to report that Ms. The steamy Patrick Swayze helps his love interest remold the clay after he ruins her first attempt. West Coast called the responding officers, losers, and enlightened them to the still unsolved murder of an ex-boyfriend, a case she suggested they should have been investigating instead of putting the kibosh on her overcrowded 32nd birthday in COVID shindig. Is no one safe from the wrath of Chanel West Coast? Chanel West Coast let, miserable haters, have it, LMFAO, repost, wrote Chanel West Coast in an August 2020 Instagram post featuring herself and three friends posing by a lake in skimpy swimwear. The scene is iconic for the interlaced hands, wet clay, and passion that causes them to forget the project. Martha and Snoop put their own twist on the moment by changing out the clay for chocolate cake. The Unchained Melody plays at Snoop assists with his co-host while she ices a spinning cake. Because this post was removed for bullying and harassment, can somebody explain what in this photo is bullying or harassment? The outburst and repost was in response to the image apparently having been summarily removed by the site, which as we know is exactly the sort of thing Chanel can't let lie. As is her want, the clapback ready media personality came strong to the hoop with some scathing commentary on the incident. Each takes turns giving a wink to the camera as the cake is destroyed with their interlaced and icing caked fingers. It's a bit gross but right on the nose. Martha Stewart gave her blessing for the release of Snoop Dogg's first cookbook Snoop took after his counterpart by creating his own cookbook with on-brand recipes. F asterisk 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 off to whoever reported this post of me and my girls enjoying life, she wrote, and further addressed her wider IG audience in a note of generalized, wholesale beefing. In 2018, Snoop released his debut cookbook, From Crook to Cook, Platinum Recipes from Da Boss Dog's Kitchen. He offers recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and even provides some ideas for entertaining. There are such sad, miserable haters out there. I pray they find peace and happiness. As The Blast noted, Chanel West Coast wasn't mad at Instagram, per se. She was mad at the unnamed, unknown people who reported her post, making the entire flap the first known instance of celebrity feuding on a global scale. The book opens with a photo of Martha and Snoop. She even wrote a foreword promoting his ability in the kitchen but also with a mention of their close friendship over the years. 
Martha writes, Snoop and I have a special bond that dates back to when he first appeared on the Martha Stewart show in 2008. Our relationship was born from our connection to food as we whipped up some cognac mashed potatoes and green brownies. She also said the transition into a cooking collaboration felt inevitable. Not only has he taught me new lingo and cultural references, he surprised me with his unique cooking techniques and recipes. I can't wait for him to share them with the world. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg recreated that Titanic scene Martha and Snoop returned after a hiatus to host an updated version of their late-night cooking show. The duo returned to VH1 for Martha and Snoop's potluck party challenge, and they released a trailer for a third season of their show. After all, it's Chanel versus everyone. The updated show included a competitive twist on the original two seasons. Celebrities joined the hosts and chose sides in themed cooking challenges. The hosts and guests were then joined by judges who sit down with the participants to critique their meals. To promote the party challenge, Martha and Snoop recreated one of the most iconic scenes in recent film history. Her beefs are large, and her gripes contain multitudes. Straight out of James Cameron's hit 1997 film, Titanic, Oprah magazine reported Martha held her co-host at the edge of the counter. Snoop spreading his arms in the wind. Basically, Martha is Jack, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, and Snoop is Rose, as in Kate Winslet's character in the film. Snoop gets an update on the classic line, I'm frying. Martha, I'm frying. The entire scene is complete with Celine Dion's song from the film playing while Snoop successfully sizzles two baskets of fries. Martha Stewart taught Snoop Dogg how to garden during quarantine on her new show, Martha Knows Best, Martha and Snoop moved beyond the potluck to the garden in 2020. Martha launched a new television show on HGTV called Martha Knows Best, bringing the audience into her home. The show was apparently meant to inspire people to go outside and work on their own gardening projects. This was a chance for Stewart to highlight her gardening abilities, she's more than just a cook, after all. USA Today reported Martha surprised fans seeking advice by hopping on the phone and fielding video calls with celebrity friends like her potluck party challenge co-host. Snoop joined the show by video chat to talk about growing plant-based food and exploring the world of container gardens. Martha gave tips to Snoop on how he could expand his supply of herbs. He joked his guy couldn't grow while in quarantine. Instead of ganja, Martha aided Snoop in planting tomatoes for his mother.